Let's take a look at angles and their measures. Angles are commonly referred to by a name like acute or obtuse. You might be familiar with those. Let's just get a brief review on an angle first of all. So if I have an angle here that's labeled A, B, C, let's name it. Your book will say name this angle in three different ways. In this case, I can name it angle A, B, C. B is at the vertex, so the vertex has to be the center of your name every time. This is reversible. I can say angle C, B, A, and that refers to the same angle. And in this unique situation, I can also say angle B. And I'm gonna use this symbol that looks a lot like a less than symbol, but it's also an angle symbol. This little guy here is considered acute. So this acute angle means it is less than, or angle, is less than 90 degrees. We also can have a right angle. How do we know if it's a right angle? There's one way in geometry that always, always, always tells us if something is a right angle, and it's this little symbol that's just a little box in the corner. Remember, this references 90 degrees or perpendicular, little symbol that we learned, and this is considered a right angle. Right angles have to have that box in there. In your book, if it doesn't have that box, we are not allowed to assume that it's a right angle, even if it looks like it is. Lastly, we have an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is gonna be opened greater than 90 degrees. So in this case, let's say it's around 140 degrees. That means this is an angle, so obtuse, this is an angle greater than 90 degrees. So even if it's 90.5 degrees, it's considered obtuse. So obtuse, the other one that I wonder why we even call it an angle, but it's called a straight angle. And this one to me is just a little bit silly. Um, and this one here is 180 degrees, meaning a flat line. So this officially has a name in the angle family. So it's a straight angle, always 180 degrees. So there's just a quick review on angles and their names and then some of the degrees that might be there, and then ways that we can name an angle. So how'd that go? Did that make any sense? Hopefully you had a moment of clarity where you went, oh, that's it? That's always my goal. So check out my other math videos and hopefully you'll have more aha moments throughout all those as well. Don't forget to tell your friends too.